This May, about 2 billion Muslims, including 600,000 Australians, will celebrate Eid, one of the largest religious festivals in the whole world. But I suspect the average Australian has no idea what Eid even is. Do you know anything about Eid? No. Nah. Which is why I'm going to explain Never it. Never heard to... of it. Which is why I'm going to explain it so that everyone can understand and get involved in one of the funnest days in the Muslim calendar. Oh, yeah, tolerance in that, bacon singer. Eid begins on the first day of the month of Shawwal. Kind of like Easter, Eid's date changes each year. This is because the Muslim calendar is lunar and Eid starts the day after the month of Ramadan ends when there's a new moon. But opinion amongst Muslims differ about exactly when that is. Which makes it tricky to explain to your boss which day you need off. Hey boss, I need the day off for Eid. To eat? Eid. Eid's like, it's like Muslim Christmas, but it's better because it's based in truth. Uh, <laughs> that's quite hurtful. I'm, I was joking. Uh, when is it? It's when the new moon begins, which if you follow a set lunar calendar, it's Thursday. Thursday. However, many Muslims need the moon to actually be sighted by the human eye before Eid can be announced, right. in which case it's either Thursday or Friday, but I'll only be able to know that the night hey, before hey. Just, you can see the moon. Just chuck a sickie. You got it? Yeah. Nurse, cancel my Thursday appointments until someone gets eyeballs on the moon. Eid literally translates to festival or feast, and it's when we break the fasting month of Ramadan. On Eid, we spend most of the day eating, and in the morning, we wear our nicest clothes and head to the mosque. Those Muslim churches people worry bring down property prices. Here we listen to a sermon from the Imam, usually about the virtues of charity. After prayer, there's like an hour straight of hugging random people, then there's gift giving. But if Eid is about things that all people love, like food, presents and hugging Muslims, why don't people in Australia know more about it? The answer? Christmas movies. Have a hectic day. Well, he is on the naughty list. Pardon me, gentlemen. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Just figure those crooks, Kevin. Every year, tons of Christmas movies teach us about the magic and meaning of Christmas. And if Christmas movies can do that, Maybe Eid movies can do the same for Eid. Who is it? It's just a Muslim. I'm ritually washing before prayer. What do you want? Did you pay your obligatory charity to the poor that was due a few days before Eid? <laughs> yippee ki yay mother, father and family, who we honour and cherish, especially at this time of Eid. Bacon Slanger! Hey, does this one feel a little bit terroristy? Yeah, it does a bit, Naz. Nazim Hussain in Eid Hard. Coming to cinemas this Eid.